Hey everybody, this is Tambi and I'm back with another Transformers video review. This time I have Protectobot Hotshot, and as you can see, we have the figure right here, along with his card, and then the picture right here, artist rendition of him. And this is a uh, original mold, so this is a brand new figure that we're getting right here. Uh, uh, like all the other figures, you have this this meteor right here of the Autobot logo, and then on this side, you have a picture of him in Defensor as as Defensor. Uh, and he is three of five, which would mean that he would be the middle for for that. And um, so, taking a look, I'll let you check out the uh, description real quick. Let me bring up my camera. So there's this little bio description type thing, and if you would just want to take some time and uh, pause the video and read that, uh, feel free. Otherwise, we're going to continue on with this video. Uh, so it states that he transforms in 17 steps, and uh, these are the other figures that uh, combine to make his uh, combine to make him Defensor, which are uh, Blades, Rook, First Aid, and Streetwise. And the only original or the only two new figures are going to be Hotshot and Rook. So. Right. so let's go ahead and get him out of the box so we can check him out. All right, so here we have Hotshot out of the packaging and in his alt mode, which is a blue fire truck. Along with him inside the box, he does come with two of his weapons. And these are like two firefighting guns type things. And you can take these and uh, connect these onto the side right here. And for some reason, one of mine wants to stick up higher than the other one. Um, you can kind of get it in between. It'll stay like that just fine uh, until you bump it and then it ratchets up a little bit so um, but, yeah, it, uh, it actually rolls pretty well um, I, first time I transformed it I transformed it a little wonky I didn't know what was going on with it because uh, he's he's a little a little strange he's he's uh, not as easy as some of the uh, some of the first combiner wars figures he has a little bit of a, a strange transformation and, it, and once you get a hold of it, it's not hard. Um, let me just say that. It's just he has a lot of moving parts on him. So, you know, keep that in mind. He does have some really nice paint decals right here or tempo graphs and stuff, right here, the fire rescue and, and such and, and stuff. And you can take a look at him. And he looks really nice. I, I do dig this this character right here. So, uh, like I said, he does come with those guns, and then he comes with this, and then he comes with his instructions, and so he is 3 of 5 for Defensor. So, so uh, to transform him, let me show how to transform him real quick. Take these guns off. <clears throat> and, oh gosh, where do I start at? Okay, so I'm starting down here at the feet. Let me go ahead and bring this up a little bit. So the feet, um, basically, I'm just going to pull this up so it's out of the way. So the feet, you want to separate, and then you want to extend down. And they don't actually click into anything when you extend them down. But the thing that I found a little wonky whenever I was first transforming him, is there's a couple of things in here. There's when you bend this up, this locks into place, like that, and then right here. And then whenever you start putting this together, then you see these two tabs right here, and then these two tabs, so you have to get those in between there, like that. And then you have to get this one in between there, and then you have to snap it together. And you have to make sure all these pieces are in there like that, or else they don't sit right, and then all his wheels won't turn. Just pull that apart. And then flip those down, and this actually does not lock in. The the legs don't lock in, so you just want to go like that. And I, I kind of push it into there, and it, it it suits fine for what I'm doing. And you take this, go like that, go like that, and then you want to rotate these around like that. And so then you have this right here with this stuff on the back. So. Let me go ahead and get that like that, and I'm going to bring this camera up so we can show you the back of it. Uh, 
Alright, so then what you want to do next is you want to take these and actually bring these down like this. And see there's this tab and there's a hole right there. And that's where that tab's into. See right there. So you just bring those down and then you can take and clip these out. So when you undo these, so you'll, you'll have all this together like this usually before you do this. And when you pull push these together, you see these tabs right here? Well, there's little notches in this plastic right here. This tab right there. Well, there's a little, a little notch in right here. You see them? Right there. Well, right. I can't see. It's right here. That's where you notch it into. So you bring these down, rotate this, and then bring these down, and these are his arms. So you have that. And then you take this, and remember, this goes up, and this goes back down. And then you take these and tab it into, see, the, see this, this, and then this hole? You tab those into here. And do that on both sides and it keeps everything together real nicely. Rotate it around and drop it down like that. That's the only thing I wish they would have had. I wish they would have had some kind of lock on the knees where the knees would, would stay in. Uh, then you flip this down and the head is up underneath here. You flip that up and flip that back up See, because the knees don't want to stay sometimes. And then you have Hot Shot right there, and it's he's fairly easy to transform. He does have a little bit of a back, a little little back heavy because he has a backpack on there, uh, just because it's the it's the combiner, the combiner chest, and then the ladder. But, and then he has his guns. Very cool. All right, so to get him in combine mode, combine mode is a little bit, a little bit more. Um, it's, it's a little weird. I'll just say that. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is we want to take this, flip this down like this, and I think we lift it back up. I'll have to see in just a little bit. And we flip this up, and you see this right here, and it's going to notch into right there. So. Fiddle around with that until you notch it in, all right? And then you do that for this side. All right, so you have that. And then once again, you want to uh, basically take the legs like this and then uh, you want to connect these in again. Uh, That? I think you leave it like that. That's weird. Yeah, you leave it like that, and then this is a little strange. I gotta remember how to do this correctly. Um, okay, you want to untab this, then rotate this around, and then you goes like this. Okay, and then this tabs in right here, and then this tabs in right here. So that all tabs in like that, and then you take this. And you rotate this down right here. And then you rotate, you start rotating this underneath his legs. And then there's a part right here that you untab, flip that up. And then you take this, and you see these two tabs that go into here. And very strange how that goes around like that, but it does. And just getting this tabbed into here. So that's tabbed in, you flip this down, then flip this up, and then rotate the head around. So hopefully that was on there. So uh, if you didn't see that, it's just right there, like that, and then you flip this up and then rotate this around for the head. So and there you have that's the hot shot core right there.
or that's the, I'm sorry, that's the defense work core right there. So. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, there's one last thing, you gotta flip these panels down uh, for the, the arm connectors, that's about it. Uh, so, real quickly I'm gonna go ahead and transform him back into his robot mode. And like I said, it's a little strange the first time you do it, uh, just because of everything that just kind of swings around and such. Um, I'm just trying to remember how this went. Up, back down, like that. Flip that down. Right there. Right there. And then rumors are that this mold is going to be reused for Bruticus, so... Goes, and... There he is back into bot mode, so... And real quickly, let me show you off his articulation in the head. He has a left and right, he has up and down, so it, is, it does look like it's a ball joint. Then you have a forward and back ratchet, and then you have another joint right here that allows it to go out like that. Uh, you do have a joint underneath here so you can go out like that. Then you have a twist right above the elbow, the elbow which is a ratcheting joint. Then you come down here, there's nothing in the waist, but you do get to the hips and you have two joints at the hips. So you got the forward and back ratchet, and then you have out to the side ratchet. Then underneath there you have your twist, and then you have a knee joint right here. Um, I don't know if it's actually a double knee because there's there's two hinges up in there. Uh, see there's a hinge right here and there's a hinge right here but mainly that hinge right there is for the transformation. So, so yeah the only real nitpick that I see with this guy is uh, in with his legs. Either you gotta put them together like that where they look like they're too close together or you bring them out like that which then they look like they're way too far apart and then uh, with his knees his knees don't lock in so sometimes you get his knees bending at the, uh, the transformation joint and not the knee joint and then he is a little back heavy so he wants to fall backwards sometimes Other than that, he's a he's a pretty nice figure. He has a lot of paint details on him. His head sculpt. Let me show you his head sculpt real good. It's real nice. Red eyes, uh, a darker blue mask with the light blue right here for the head. Then you have all this paint in here and right here, and then with the uh, sirens and stuff. I only wish that you would have been able to have the legs like this instead of having to have them backwards like this, so where the wheels are on the inside. Alright, so now I just have to wait for um, the individual bots, the deluxe bots, to come out, and then um, and then I'll have the, uh, the the Defensor video up shortly after that. Uh, so if you did enjoy this video, please click the like button for me. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambiota, and I'll see you next time.